What's up? Welcome to Trackletics Live, the ultimate show for all things track and field. Join us as we dive deep into the sport, interview on track and field athletes, coaches, nutrition specialists, and more. Get ready to hear some dope conversations and gain exclusive insight into what it takes to become a top performer in the sport. Whether you're a seasoned track and field athlete or just starting off, this is the show for you. So make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Let's get into the show. Ah, oh, snap, everyone. Let's welcome Colin. Thank you for having me, man. Of course, man. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to sit down and have this conversation with me. I'm excited. You've been blazing the track, posting some times that I can't even comprehend because I'm a sprinter. You you running too long, <laughs> but I'm excited to get to know more about your journey, man. Yeah, thank you. All right. So first question, how did you start running track? Why are you running track? <laughs> well, I I did play like in middle or elementary school. I played football and then broke my arm and my mom didn't want me to do that anymore. So <laughs> She just signed me up for track and because she was a collegiate runner herself. So um, she just signed me up and I fell in love with it really early age. So I just kept on going. Found out I got I was pretty good at it. So that's why I'm doing it now. What made you fall in love with it? Was it the fact that like for me, I get to see how far and how fast I can go on my own two feet. I played mm -hmm. football, played basketball, even played soccer. But it's like the team is such a huge huge part you know they they play a part in whether we win if we're doing good if we're doing bad if coach is mad now every, everybody's getting punished you know so <laughs> what was it for you that made you fall in love with track and field one hard lesson i've learned being an athlete is that hydration is a major key to performance you will not perform your best dehydrated i hydrate with eternal water eternal water is a naturally alkaline pure pristine water sourced directly from the springs here in America. It's filtered through layers of ancient rock absorbing essential minerals and electrolytes you need to perform your best. It tastes amazing, makes you feel amazing, turning every workout into your best workout. I hydrate with eternal water. Well, at first I just did it because I had friends doing it. I just came back because I literally just did like the 100, 200, 400, like my first year. Like I didn't know what I was doing. And then when I moved up distances, I found out that I was actually pretty good at it. And I mean, I liked running. I liked being, I liked being like physically active. So um, it just gives me something to do. And I just, I just love going out there and just going for a run every day with my friends. So that, that's the fun of it. And then competing, I think is my favorite part. Just, you know, racing, beating people, super fun. <laughs> do you count the people as you pass them? Nah, I just, I just try and try and get in the front where no one's in front ah, of me. So. Okay, so you don't have to count anybody. I got <laughs> you. I got you. But you said you started so long ago. So, like, what was your high school experience like? Um, well, I mean, I was on one of the best. I was on probably the best high school, like, distance team of all time. So, it was really cool. Like, even though, like, I was, like, my junior, senior year, I was getting up to, like, the top in the nation in the distance events. Like, I had teammates and my brother doing it right there with me. So, it was like it was super fun experience like we were just all having a blast just like running together racing together beating people together so it was really fun now progressing from high school to college what has that experience been like um it's it's definitely it's definitely different because here we have a different mentality than i did in high school like high school is about like running like fast times but here it's about how many people you can beat and like I think it's definitely changed my mentality from like, oh, I want to run a super fast time to like, I want to see how many people I can beat and how many like really big names I can beat. So we, we usually do workouts like effort based instead of time based. Mm -hmm. So I think it's helped a lot in my like competing. Like I feel like I've learned a lot more about tactics and like events such as like the 1500 and the 5k. So it's been, it's been a learning experience, but I feel like I've gotten pretty good at it so far. Oh, okay. I mean, you what made you choose NAU? Out of um, all the schools you could have went to, like you said, you were on one of the best high school teams in the nation. I know you got plenty of offers. So what was it about NAU? Um, probably the coaches and the team. I mean, Coach Smith, in my opinion, is like the best coach in the world for like distance athletes. And the team is just like I feel like all the colleges that I visited and talked to, like the team wasn't as serious mm -hmm. as like the athletes are here. So I wanted to surround myself with athletes that are just as committed as I am so that I can, you know, and I want to be 
with athletes that are better than me so that I can, they can push me and make me the best athlete I can be. So for me, it was like almost a no brainer because like the culture here is just like so much better than every other place I've visited in my opinion. True. True. Yeah. You can definitely see, like I was saying, right? Like with other sports, the team and bring you down, but mm -hmm. with your team, you can see how everybody's so invested in building each other up and making sure that you guys are smashing and like beating everybody else out there. So that's actually pretty dope. But what has the experience been like for you with your coach at NAU this season? Um, this season, we've we definitely focused more on like um, like tactics. I'd say, especially indoors, because with indoor like distance races, like you don't really have a lot of room to work with on the straights, to, like pass people, because mm -hmm. it's really hard to pass people on the turns. So that's really what we worked with this year, and I feel like. Uh, I'm definitely not perfect, but I've gotten better at it, and um, it's helped me out a lot in my races. And um, yeah, I, I, I love outdoor just because you don't have to worry about that as much. But um, yeah, pretty much focusing on um, tactics and just um, like you know, just crushing fast workouts. So it's been really fun. So if you have to choose between outdoor and indoor, like we're just we're gonna abolish one of them, and we're only choosing one season now. Would you choose outdoor? Uh, I would choose outdoor. Door, yeah i like the i like the 400 meter track better um i mean it really depends on which season i'm in if i'm in indoor i'm all invested in indoor if it's outdoor i'm all invested in outdoor but yeah i'd say outdoor you know you gotta love like like the sun and um even like the rain too because sometimes like weather will get to people and that's how you can beat a lot of people you know just not giving any energy to that so that's what i like about it you just have to be ready for anything true yeah some people see the rain or the cold and they back off mm -hmm. and you, you gotta be a Dog, we're out here to compete regardless of what the weather is like, yeah. for sure. Exactly. Now, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't matter. You don't change. The weather changes, but you don't. I like that. I couldn't have said it any better myself. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Um, now, you've been through so much, like you said, one of the best high schools in the nation. You're at NAU, um, and you started so long ago. Mm -hmm. So what has kept you motivated through this whole journey? And you're doing distance. Distance is not easy. Mm -hmm. I feel like, well... Sprints is not easy. I just had a jump run. Jump, jumping is not easy, but those are like skill-based events. They're fun, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, what has kept you motivated to do distance? Yeah, I mean, I'd say definitely the success has helped because, like, seeing success, like you want to go further. But I think just being being around people that just love the sport, it, it really helps you love it as well. Just like being around now, it's just become normal. Like. <laughs> Like that's like it's just like a normal like a norm for me to just go out and like train hard every day like that's just like my normal life now so for me it's just like it's a lifestyle and i'm just like it's just a normal part of my life and i can't really see myself without it now that's dope i can definitely see that mm -hmm. um was that something that you picked up like from the team that you're at now or is that just how you always felt like this is a part of me and this is something i love doing and i'm gonna continue doing it yeah i'd say ever since i got into high school that's probably how i felt and then I think here it's like progressed even more. So, okay, I can see that. Um, mm -hmm. Now you said you're working on like tactics, strategy. Um, break that down for me. What's going on in training right now? Um, well, right now we're. Um, I'd say like the last few weeks we've been doing a lot of like strength, like tempo and threshold workouts, just to like work on my like aerobic abilities. But um, yeah, yesterday or Tuesday we hit a pretty good speed workout. So. Um, definitely good to to see where my speed's at. Um, and then I think tomorrow we go down in elevation, I think. I'm not sure. But to hit, like, really fast speed work. So we got the strength in. Now we're getting some speed in. And then we're going to see what that shows um, in a week. Okay. Now, do distance runners lift? Are you lifting weights at all? Um, I mean, we we have, like, our own, like, lifting. We don't, like, lift heavy. We just do mostly, like, I mean, we, we do a lot of, like um, like, just squats and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we do weights twice a week and it's, it's pretty decent, but it's not like anything crazy. It's just mostly about like form and stuff. Gotcha. You. What's your favorite weightlifting exercise then? Hmm. I'm not really sure. I mean, it, it doesn't really do much for running, but I love like the, like the, uh, I don't know. To... Rows? Rows. Upper body? Yeah. 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 Okay. I like the upper body stuff. I usually do extra reps on those, but, uh, I, I like doing that. I don't really like doing legs in the gym, but <laughs> <laughs> why not? I don't know. I don't really personally. I don't really like it, but I mean, I'll well, do it. you you're you're putting so much load on your legs with the distance running. I can kind of understand it, and then rows make you feel big and strong. So yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Now we got 
what you're working on on the mm -hmm. track we got what you love in the weight room um let's say practice is over what are you refilling with after practice what's your post-workout meal or post-workout shake hmm i mean i don't really have like a go-to or anything and they're usually just we'll just like cook dinner as a as a house like my roommate my roommate um aiden puffer he he loves to cook so he'll cook us dinner every night so it's really nice like last night we had a really good like beef wellington that was like super nice to have after or after a pretty hard work pretty hard day so beef wellington he, pause because he'll, uh, he'll chef it up he, yeah. he, that's crazy because my last episode and before that we were talking about how you know college athletes struggle now you're talking about you making beef wellington and y'all chefing it up that's i didn't make dope. it i didn't make it my roommate yeah, room, it was really good hey, well your roommate <laughs> made it but you know uh that's dope that you guys are all coming together he's cooking you know he's not just cooking for himself he's actually helping you guys out as well that's actually pretty dope so I see why you chose the school and why you're around those ind individuals. That's dope. Yeah, for sure. It's really nice. Now, what are the goals this season? This is an Olympic year. You're blazing the track already. What's the goals? Mm -hmm. What are you focused on? I don't have like, like very many like time specific goals. Um, I'd say I do want to run a really fast 1500 in a week. Um, just see how fast I can go. Um, hopefully, realistically, hopefully around around like that 335, 334 area. Um, you know, I really want to do, I want to run a really fast 800 this season too. Um, just get that speed in. But I, I want to compete for a national title in outdoors at NCAAs um, in the 1500 and then um, see how far I can get in the Olympic trials and just see, I don't know, just see how far I can get. So hopefully, you know, Paris is a pretty big shot, but um, that, that'd be really fun. So just see how far I can get there. It's a big shot but it's not that big of a shot you're really blazing the track i don't see anybody talking and just i don't see anybody beating you in that 15 man especially in ncaa's yeah i mean yeah i had a pretty pretty rough indoor indoor um, mile you know it was it was still good sixth in the ncaa but um definitely i definitely know i'm better than that so i'm um, i'm coming after it this this outdoor season so I, I see i'm ready you, man i got i got faith in you for sure um now yeah. As or every college athlete's career comes to an end, are you mm -hmm. looking to go pro after that? Are you looking for a, a big name sponsor? Like, if you had to choose, what's what's the the track plan? Um, I'm not really looking for anything. Um, I'm just literally my main focus is just running fast and beating people. And if all those things, if they, if people want to like do an NIL, then that's cool. That's just like that's not my focus. My focus is just being the best like athlete that I can be and hopefully one of the best athletes in the NCAA. And if people want to like sign an NIO with me, like that's awesome, but that's not, that's not my main focus or anything. And I haven't even thought about professional or anything yet. So taking a step by step. I like that. You, you seem really focused on the task at hand, what we're doing right now, mm -hmm. as opposed to putting all this stress, all this weight on yourself and, making it more than what it has to be, looking towards the future and stuff. I like that. Yeah, exactly. And I'm still a sophomore too, so it's still pretty early for me. So I'm not, yeah, definitely. I'm not worried about that stuff at all. <laughs> definitely young. Um, but I know a lot of college athletes are, man, they're going so hard for the NIL, trying to get the money, whether they're struggling, don't have it, or, you know, just want to be living lavish and <laughs> buying all the yeah. things, you know? Um, but you seem really focused. Those things can come if they come. If not, mm -hmm. whatever, you still blaze in the track. So I love that. You're, yeah. you're very focused, very composed and focused on that. Because mm -hmm. I feel like if people are like running, trying to run well just to get like an NIL, and I'm running well just to see how well I can run, I feel like that's just, like, it puts me at even, even, even more advantage because I'm running for me, not for like something else. Or like or I'm running for me and my team, not for just like this outside thing. So. Oh. So, um, I have to ask, because I don't, I, I, I can't do this distance stuff. <laughs> Break down a, a distance workout for me. Sets, reps, times, give me something. All right, I'll, I'll just give you the workout we did on Tuesday. Okay. Um, it's actually not really a distance workout. It's more of like a, it's probably like a mid-distance workout. But um, we did, so we did a mile at threshold. So I was in like 4.55. Took four minutes rest. We did um, four by three hundred meters in forty-two seconds. Ooh, okay. With um, that was with two minutes rest, and then we did a four hundred at fifty-four seconds. Um, took four minutes rest, and then we did four by two hundred at twenty-six. 
Oof. So getting ready for that 1500. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a heavy workload. Um, what, what did that workout feel like? Is that taxing on the lungs? Is that taxing on the legs? Like what, what does that feel like for you? Um, from that day it was the legs because I mean, I just got done with a 5k at Sanford. So my calves are still pretty, pretty destroyed from that. So that, that hurt pretty bad on Tuesday, but it honestly wasn't too bad. I feel like I can handle, um, speed pretty well. So yeah, it wasn't, wasn't horrible. Now horrible. I was going to ask about Stanford. How did you feel competing at Stanford? How did that meet go for you? I mean, it went, it went pretty well. I mean, going into it, I didn't really know what time. I mean, it was it was paced a little slow, I think. I think we were expecting like 1320-ish pace. Ended up running 1338. I mean, I came away with the win, so that's, that's the most important part for me. Um, just that event hasn't quite clicked with me yet. I feel like I'm still learning it. So to have that experience and come away with the win there, and it's definitely a confidence booster moving forward that um, – I can probably move up and do pretty well in that yeah. event. True, true. I believe it. You're adding blocks to it, so mm -hmm. it definitely helps you moving forward. Um, now, you're a sophomore, but out of all the tracks that you've competed at, what was your favorite track meet or favorite track to compete at? Mm -hmm. I mean, going back to high school, running the um, at Hayward Field was pretty fun, you know, in the Prefontaine Classic. That's just like, I mean, I was like the only high school against a bunch of olympians so that was pretty <laughs> that was a pretty fun race but um that was probably my favorite race um but i do love this race coming up brian clay it's at azusa pacific university that's a super fun it's a night meet the track's fast and energy's great i love that so that's probably that's probably up there as well yeah i ran there last year it's, it's a dope track it's a dope mm. meet i didn't expect it i i don't know what i was expecting out of azusa you know there's some big Big schools out there, like you said, Oregon, mm -hmm. right? Hayward, you're at Prefontaine. So I'm at Azusa, and I'm not expecting it, but I love that meet. It was a dope meet. A lot oh, of big things yeah. there, a lot of fast times there. And then the nighttime, it, it felt like what track should mm -hmm. feel like, you know? I love that meet. No, exactly. It's, it's such good energy. I'm so looking forward to it. Dope. I might actually be out there, so hopefully I get to connect with you. Oh, see sweet. How you yeah, perform. that'd be nice. Yeah. Dope. Um, now, is there any type of nutrition plans, uh, supplements, or anything like that that uh, NAU is giving you? No, no, we're, we don't. I mean, sometimes I'll take like like just iron or something, but that's just that's just me. Like NAU doesn't give us anything. We just yeah, they just give us the workouts. Gotcha. Because I know a couple a couple schools have set like nutrition plans. They mm -hmm. have post-workout smoothies and protein shakes for the athletes and stuff. So I got to ask, cause you're really blazing the track. So what is like helping you do all this? But it's really you just locked in, focused, pushing yourself, yeah. it seems like. I, I see that, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm just, I'm just super, super focused on what I want to do. And I'm not letting, cause in high school, I think my problem was like, I mean, I still ran really well in high school, don't get me wrong. But um, I kind of gave into some of that like outside like noise, like people saying like, oh, what I should run. But I just like completely blocked that out. I like don't even see those anymore. I just focus on what I want to do. And I feel like, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm like extra motivated, especially at this indoor after not doing as well. Um, I really, I really want to like do well this outdoor season and I'm just locked in and I'm just, I'm ready to go. So it's pretty much, yeah, I'm just, I'm just super motivated and focused, and that's pretty much what it is. What, what, what do you feel makes you different? What do you feel sets you apart from your competition? Um, I don't like – I mean, I'm not really sure. I don't like to make excuses. Like, if I'm, like – I like to just get the work done and just go home. Like, if I'm feeling a little something um, – I mean, like, even, even at Indoor Nationals, like, um, my body wasn't 100%, but I didn't use that as an excuse. Like, I just wanted to go out there and I just wanted to go out there and compete no matter what I was feeling. And I feel like I did pretty well for that. So um, I just, I, I don't like to make excuses no matter how I'm feeling. I just want to, I want to win. So. So I can definitely see that. There are some people that make excuses. Like we were saying, the weather and, oh, it's raining. I can't run fast. And I mean, mm -hmm. I can understand it, you know, especially being a sprinter. It definitely affects how your body feels, but. Regardless, I've seen Usain Bolt running in the rain, still putting up, putting up good times. Yeah, you know? exactly. So we can't control the weather. All mm -hmm. we can control is how we perform. So 
I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. Now, looking back on your journey, again, you are young, still have so much room to grow and so much further to go. But looking back on your journey, what is something that you wish you could have told yourself when you first started or something that, you know, a kid that is looking for advice? Mm -hmm. I know they're DMing you like, hey, Colin, give me a workout or help me out with this. What's <laughs> something that you would tell a kid or a youth that you know now? Um, I'll probably I'll probably tell them just like, don't worry about like what other people are doing and just focus on you because it doesn't like at the end of the day it doesn't really matter what other people are doing like you can't control other people you can only control what you're doing so i'd say focus on what you're doing focus on your workouts listen to your coach and just um just go through your journey not somebody else's journey i love that couldn't have said any better myself it is your journey i take it step by step or one foot at a time can't worry about you know where somebody else is in their journey how fast they're running um is 100% about you. That's all you can control. I love mm -hmm. that. Exactly. Love that. Well, Colin, I appreciate you sitting down, having this quick conversation with me. It's been a pleasure getting to know more about your journey, your goals. I'm excited for you this season, man. You've really been blazing the track. And again, it's, it's still early in the season mm -hmm. and you're still young, only a sophomore. So you have so much further to go. I'm excited for you. Yeah, thank you very much. Of course. I'm wishing you a healthy season with plenty of new personal records. Definitely going to be out there supporting you, man. Yeah, thank you. It's going to be fun. Yes, sir. It's going to be fun. Well, that is it for us here on Trackletics Live. Thank you all for tuning in. See you all next episode. Peace.